Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to quickly make any object into a 3D rotatable, you know, movable object in Adobe After Effects. So as you see right here, we have the text up here, which is 3D. And we also have this uh, logo right here, which is 3D. And what we can do with it is we can actually rotate it like so. If we go into its properties right here, we can rotate it and it rotates as a 3D object, allowing you to create those sort of like rotation animations. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is just create a new composition. And in the composition settings, when you're creating the composition, you actually wanna move over into the 3D render, or if you have a previous version of Adobe After Effects, it's usually in the advanced tab, somewhere in here it'll say the uh, 3D render. We want to switch this to Cinema 4D for newer versions of After Effects, 2017 to 2018, and then Ray Traced for previous versions. Ray Traced, I believe, requires an NVIDIA graphics card to use, so that is sort of a, uh, a pro like prohibition with the earlier versions. Cinema 4D, though, is great with anything, um, and you can use it on most computers. So once you have your composition set up like that, we can jump into the composition and then begin our work. So what we want to do is we want to add in the thing that we want to make 3D. In this case, it is our logo right here. Then we want to unclick this, and we're actually going to create ourselves a layer here, a new sort of 3D layer behind it. And then we're just going to drag it right up and make sure that it is in line right here. Now, if you'll notice, the color is you know the exact color I needed to be, and that's because I said it earlier. But let's say it wasn't the exact color that we needed it to be like there. And then we'll go change it in a little while. So what we want to do is we want to go down into our two layers down here. And we're going to click the 3D layer on both of them. And you'll notice that when it does that, the sort of the 2D, 3D layer sort of pops to the top right there. What we need to do next then is to take this image and to link it, to parent it, to the shape layer. Now we're going to go into the shape layer down to geometry options and then extrusion, uh, extrusion depth. We're going to bring that up. And what we're doing is we're making it a 3D object by doing this. Since this is parented to this one, it'll now rotate and move with it. So now if we go into this top layer right here, we can rotate it and you'll notice that there is a 3D object here. But if you also notice, it's not the right color, it's this black. And that's because the stroke of this shape right here is not the stroke of whatever the edge color is. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on that stroke, we want to grab it, and then we want to find an edge color right here. And so let's go with this because this is the edge color as well. We'll click OK, and then you'll see that it changes to the right color. And now it's a little bit of an illusion. It looks like it's actually a 3D object when really what we're, we've done is just pasted a texture onto the front of the object. And now all we, all we have to do is just rotate this and it'll create a rotation. If you'll notice, the back side is also miscolored, and that's because of the fill. So we can just go to here, and we can actually grab the side color and make this sort of a, a solid object of that color. Now we can rotate it any way that we want, and we have created this 3D object. If we want to make it a bigger 3D object, we can go ahead and extrude it, extrude it even more. And you see now we have a really large object right here that we can also rotate just like anything else. And so that's a very quick way to make anything into a, a 3D object. If it's an, you know, an unusual shape, you can actually just use, instead of the rectangle tool up here, we can use the pin tool and we can trace it out and then do the exact same steps and you'll create that 3D base to it. And basically, the essence of this effect is to just paste our image onto our 3D object and then rotate it like so. Next, what we want to do is we actually want to do the text and that's even easier because the text is inherently 3D. So if we wanna grab some text then uh, we can type like rotatable text right here and you'll notice that it's right up here. Once we click the 3D uh, effect right there, we can go into the geometry options, do that extru extrusion depth again, a really hard word to say for me for some reason go up to the transform, go into the orientation, and now you'll see that when we rotate it, it rotates just like the others. And this one is exactly the same, and that we can change the color over here to whatever we want. Like, let's say we wanted it to be a blue, and now we have the blue up there. And so we can rotate it and kind of just have, you know, whatever we want to do with it as a 3D object. These also accept lights, so you can generate a light using After Effects and position it, and these will reflect and sort of reflect that light off of them, which is pretty neat because you can just take 2D objects and make them look like 3D objects in an environment like this. So that is how you do it. Really pretty simple, just by changing the renderer to Cinema 4D, we get those, um, those 
extrusion extrusion depth uh, switches down here, and we are actually able to just create the 3D objects really fast, really simply. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.